Greetings, loyal viewers, and welcome back. Sorry that I uh, don't look my best for today, but uh, considering the topic of today's video has been driving me up a wall, I must simply ask, why of all the characters in the Owl House uh, lately has this one been getting the most hate lately? Before we get to that though, much like with my previous video, it's only fair to give Kamiya a little bit of background, though granted there really isn't a ton of that to be fair. In the very first episode of the series, A Lying Witch and a Warden, Kamiya is called into the principal's office in light of Luce's recent actions, which we'll discuss a bit more here in a moment. Kamiya, although supportive of her daughter, decides in light of this to send Luce to a reality check summer camp. Luce really doesn't want to do this, but uh, makes an effort to do so as to make her mom proud. And at this point, I think you'll all know what uh, goes on from there, at least assuming you've seen the show up to this point. I have a strong feeling that people see her not accepting Luce's weirdness as abusive, but really, that's just a parent uh, not understanding their child's differences to a certain degree. It doesn't make her evil or even utterly incompetent. After all, no parent is perfect. It just makes it that she needed to have a more proper discussion with her daughter more than anything else. She clearly didn't do this through any harmful intentions or self-serving interests. She clearly and genuinely just wants what's best for Luce, but is doing so in a way that makes sense to her, but not as much to Luce. That's not really abuse as much as just being a bit misguided, you could argue. There's a difference. Oh, and as for Luce's actions that uh, caused her to make this decision to begin with, on top of bringing actual snakes to school along with fireworks as well, which need I remind you are in fact explosives, there's a multitude of reasons prior to this for why this decision was ultimately made. Case in point. Oh, happy dagger, give me death! <laughs> Now, for the final anatomically correct touch, spider breath! You think that's an impressive trick? Take a look at this. Bleep, bloop, bleep. And if any of you are gonna argue that this decision is abusive because it limits uh, Luce's creativity and even mandates her behavior, well, I think this lovely little uh, Twitter thread here would say otherwise. Camille is abusing Luce by limiting her creativity and correcting her behavior. Okay, but have you ever considered that Camille has thoroughly encouraged Luce's creativity to the point that she realizes that it has overstepped a line and she is trying to correct her mistake as a parent before it ends up being more detrimental to her child if left unchecked? Sure, her course of actions may not have been the best, you're free to refute that, but she is genuinely trying to do the most she can as a single mother who is doing her utmost to keep uh, the both of them afloat. It isn't perfect, mind you, uh, but that's okay, too, because Luz loves her just as much. There's also a quote tweet to uh, this particular thread that we'll get to in a moment, but for now, I must ask in relation to the topic of abuse, which is a topic that the show definitely goes out of its way to address, especially in this current season, but why in the hell is Kamiya the target of this when clearly characters like these three down here exist for that already? And while we're on the topic, let's go ahead and take a look at that uh, little uh, quote tweet there, shall we? The people that say Kamiya is abusive are most likely the same people that will defend Alador with their lives. And yeah, that is also a thing. And even if you want to argue that his ways of abuse aren't as bad as Odalia's and that he stood up for Amity at the end of escaping expulsion, number one, it's still abuse no, nonetheless, no matter how bad it is. That's like saying that getting hit with a back scratcher or whatever isn't quite as bad as getting hit with a belt. Sure, one definitely hurts more than the other, but they still hurt regardless of the fact. And number two, did people just forget about this part in particular? Besides, she's getting stronger. Strong enough to become a Covenhead someday. Wise words, dear. Yeah, it's pretty clear he only did it because of how it would benefit the family name in the long run, and not because he cares about Amity. Again, 
Comparing this to Kamiya, who decided to send Luce to the Reality Check Summer Camp, not for any kind of self-benefit or anything like that, but because she genuinely wants to help her daughter to stay out of trouble going forward. Which, again, from what we've seen in the beginning, that's honestly understandable. Now, quick update, as I was finishing up writing my uh, script for this video, Twitter user Leha made a uh, long yet deep and insightful thread uh, that goes into even more depth on this topic, which I'll go ahead and put a link to that in the description down below if you want to read up on that. It does honestly make me feel good to see more and more people online coming to Kamiya's defense as, like I've mentioned early in the video, this kind of hatred towards her is really getting utter. Now, before we wrap up today's video, I think it's worth mentioning at this point that I myself have no experience when it comes to abuse, particularly parental abuse. So I'm going to go ahead and take this opportunity to ask any and all who are watching this who are victims of such abuse, do you happen to find uh, what these haters are saying to be utterly offensive? I, I genuinely want to know. And uh, also that I do genuinely apologize. Uh for having gone through that and that I hope you got the uh, help that you needed and that you're doing a lot better now. Stay safe, people. And until then, I'm King Gargantuous and take care.